Fifteen months to the 2017 general elections, the Code Coalition has been consistent in its push to disband the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, the body mandated to oversee elections. And now the coalition partners plan to lead their troops on Monday morning to the IEBC offices to seek answers on the criteria used by the commission to reject the Okoa Kenya signatures as they pile pressure for the commissioners to leave office. Katoliki, NCCK. Wame sema tume ilioko sasa ikienda katika uchakuzi wa inji yetu ya Kenya kutakuwa na umuakikaji wa damu. We must have reforms within IEBC. Without reforms in IEBC, then the election of 2017 counts for nothing. But as court piles pressure on the commission, Jubilee allied leaders are accusing them of engaging in populist politics, challenging them to follow legal procedures. As Jubilee, we don't need the IEBC to win the next election. We need Kura ya Mwananchi. IEBC is an institution ambayo imewekwa kwa mujibu wa sheria na katiba ya Kenya. This bounding IEBC the roadmap is in the Constitution. But as Jubilee and Code engage in bare knuckle exchanges, political analyst says the commission cannot be disbanded, but commissioners must be replaced. Disbanding means doing away with the entire commission and starting off from scratch. You can't do that. Lack of confidence is with the commissioners. So you, you, you get uh, new commissioners uh, who are uh, possibly acceptable across the political divide. He says the credibility of the commission is at stake and the pronouncement by court that it will not participate in an election conducted by the commissioner should not be taken lightly. The president has got to provide leadership and look for a way of forcing the commissioners out because, you know, already the opposition says if the IEBC as currently constituted uh, is going to preside over elections, they will not participate. According to the Constitution, in Article 234, the IEBC commissioners can only be removed from office for serious violation of the Constitution, including a contravention of Chapter 6 on leadership and integrity, gross misconduct, incompetence, bankruptcy, or physical or mental incapacity. For this to happen, one must present a petition to the National Assembly setting out the alleged facts against the commissioners. The National Assembly is then expected to consider the petition and if satisfied with the grounds of removal of any of the commissioners, they shall send the petition to the president. However, for the petition to pass in the National Assembly, it will require the support of a majority of MPs, a requirement that may prove to be an uphill task for code, hence its reluctance to explore this option. Code cannot be able to push through uh, the petition. And two, they don't have any numbers which can help them to be able to get uh, the requisite uh, two-thirds majority in Poland. However, should it pass in the National Assembly, the president has little option but to suspend the commissioners and set up a tribunal to probe the allegations against them. The tribunal is expected to investigate the matter expeditiously and make binding recommendations to the president. On receiving the recommendation, the president has 30 days to act. As things stand, court remains adamant that the commissioners must go but is yet to institute any legal process. It is now a game of wait and see if indeed they will make good their threat and march to IBC offices on Monday and if their push will bear fruit.